it real. I am going to devour some snacky snacks. Cheese, ham, cracker. Cheese, ham, cracker. No, no. Cheese, ham, triscuit. So when you're in your plane and your CHTs are hot, cheese, ham, triscuit is what the CHT stands for in your in your aircraft. Quote me on that. Cheese, ham, triscuit. Monster host from Mature Gamer. Mature Gamer with the monster host. Thank you, Mature. Appreciate that. That LPV approach was fun. I'm not going to lie. That B200 LPV approach is, was GG. All right, so we're going to go Kilo Oscar Alpha Kilo. And we're going to Kilo... Romeo November Oscar. We're going to do Roots. It's a mature raid. Welcome, mature. We're about to fly this emote. We're about to fly that emote. Thank you for thank you for the raid. Thank you for the host. We're going to go Oakland 1, Departure, Oakland, Sacramento, Sierra 3, or Sierra 3. That first one. So there we go. There is our route that we're going to fly on Pilot Edge. So if any of you are on Pilot Edge and would like to join me, please do so. Cessna Rocks is rocking... The Frankenstein Zebo jar. All right, we're debuting the Tennessee one for the first time. Uh, oh, the Rolls Royce 757. Watch one minute of the uh, of this. Okay, hold on. Is it from one minute, or do I go do I go to the one minute mark? Because that's a landing at the one minute mark. Watch from one minute, okay. It's an aborted landing. That does sound pretty good. That does sound pretty good. Can you tell the difference though, really? Pratt and Whitney would sound different, huh? Mature gamer just flew from Seattle to Memphis. Had a crash. Broken ortho tile. 100 nautical miles from Memphis. That's a bummer. All right, let's take a look at the Tennessee one for the first time. Oh, baby. Spoilers are up. Let's get our spoilers down. Oh, I forgot to install my press file. Dang it. I hate that. I wonder... I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something. This probably won't work. What I'm going to do... 
is I'm going to take the XPlan 11 directory, uh, the X-Ray, or no, I'm going to take the old 4, and I'm going to take the B738 prefs file. That's all my views. This probably is not going to work. And then I'm going to paste it into here. So now my prefs file is in there. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do a reload of the aircraft. Right there, under developer, reload. Will it load my prefs file by chance? I sure hope so. Uh, bubblegum YT. Uh, type in, type in exclamation overlay. Exclamation overlay. All right, let's see if it worked. Nope, it didn't work. Dang it. <sighs> so it's it's chatty chat time. So yester sound, um, go to my YouTube channel, type in exclamation YT, and then search for John Fly, how to Zebo, how to Zebo, and I have a video ex describing how to update. Or you can go to today's VOD and watch me do it. I just did it about five, ten, seven minutes ago. Just barely updated the Zebo. So you can you can watch the VOD right now if you go to my the videos section. You should be good. Uh, Ted Rat means uh, Ram Air Turbine. I think it's is that what it is Ram Air Turbine. So when they I think it, if I understand this correctly they they deploy the Rat. The Rat then you know takes wind in and it generates power. So it's like an alternate power source. Am I totally off on that, guys? I don't know. All right, while this is loading, I'm gonna take a bio. It's like an APU, okay. For emergency situations, okay. All right, now we should have views. How come we don't have views? I copied the press file over. Ah, we're gonna have to go through them and do them ourselves again. All right, so this is uh, control four. Quickly, this is oh, zoom out. This is a free aircraft, folks. This is a free aircraft that comes with X Plane 11. And then you get this mod, and it's just amazing. And I have to set up these views because it didn't work for some reason.
Do you guys like it when pilots are streaming? Actually, I'm going to have a poll on that. I'm just curious. I'm going to start a poll. This do you do you prefer the straight on like that or do you prefer a streamer to go like this and do side angle? Cuz that's like a side angle, right? So that would be a, a a side angle from side. So vote for from side or do you like the straight on? So the straight on or the side? Because I prefer the straight on. Because I can see what's going on when the streamer's doing stuff. I hate that side angle. I'm just curious what you guys think. Alright. Let's do an MCP view. Okay, right there is this MCP. Overhead. Let's do an up, 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 upper overhead. Our IRS. Today we're going to not go to a line first. We're actually going to go to nav first. All right, let's get an FMC view. I don't know why it didn't work copying that over that press file. It's really bizarre. That's control one. Now let's get a, a pedestal view. So 18 to 3. That's what I thought it would be. But there's three of you that prefer the side angle. That's, that's, not, a, that's not a problem. There's two. Now let's get a... A throttle quadrant view. Yeah, I'm referring just to when you're sh when you're watching a stream, not not when you're flying yourself. So streaming straight on, you use track IR for the side. Okay, side is what a real life yes side side is what a real life pilot would see for sure. I think we had a hot 600 there. Someone hot 600. All right, so we got the overhead. We got the main view. We got the MCP. We got the upper overhead. Yes, we have a hot 600. And uh, we've got the throttle quadrant, lower pedestal. Now we need, again, a light situation. This is for lights, etc. All right, I think we're done there. All right, let's get the check. The new checklist, version one point seven, hot off the presses. We can get rid of that poll because that poll is done. Dunsky. First item on the checklist. I want to upload this edited OAK stuff, but I don't, don't know if I should. Uh, pff, why wouldn't you? This is the, yes, Mature, this is the newest Zebo. This is 3.05J, and it's probably broken, but it's not the B200. No. I haven't updated the overlay yet. We'll update the overlay after we get our clearance. Clarence. So, let's go battery on. Close the guard. Cabin standby power to auto. Cabin utility power on. Passenger power on. Ground power on. IRS 
to nav. We're gonna try it to nav instead of a line. See what happens. Let's go position light steady. And let's go passenger signs to auto. And we'll do window heat. Window heat on. These colors look really good, I would say. Trim air on. Recirc on auto. And then we'll come down here and we'll turn on aft fuel pump. If we were in Reno, we'd need both these fuel pumps. You downloaded an earlier version for the Zebo, but you haven't got it to it yet, so I'll have to download the newest. Yeah, make sure you follow my exact checklist, Mature. It's available on my Discord in the checklist room. Uh, let's start the APU. Hold down the APU, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, let go. This should light up right here. It does, so that's good. Zebo updates like twice a day, no kidding. Let that uh, APU start, there it goes. I have a better pushback now for the first time ever. Oh, that might be kind of fun. I don't know how to use it though. So, if you guys know how to use it, please stick around and when we get to that point, I'll need you. I will need you. All right, let's turn APU bleed on. And let's turn APU gens on. Good sounds. Turn the ground power off. And uh, let's go ahead and get clearance, clearance. So let's come up here, pilot edge, connect. Uh, today we are southwest, 572. We'll connect. Connected to pilot edge. We'll go down here. And we'll look at uh, the flight plan. And we'll look at airports. Spoilers are down up again. For flight view, uh, nearest airport is Oakland. Clearance is on 121.1. Cessna, you have to pre plan it so you can click pre plan, then use your mouse scroll wheel to plan it. What are you referring to? Yes, this is Vlad's textures. You have to pre plan it so you can click pre plan, then use your mouse scroll. Oh! Okay. Oh, you're talking about better pushback. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so 121.1. 1, 1. So we'll come over here. Set nav 1, 121.1. 1, 1. NAV 1 set to 121.1. 1, 1. Oh, not 1, nav. Oh. Set nav 1, 118.0. 1, 1, NAV 1 set to 118.0. 1, 1, set nav 1, 109.5. NAV1 set to 109.5. Set COM1 121.1. Set COM1 121.1. COM1 set to 121.1. Okay, now let's come over here to file a flight plan. We're going from... Global 4069 uh, descend via the Surfer 2 arrival. The Marana Ray altimeter is 299 or 6. There's a global airline. Who's flying that global airline? Destination will be KRNO. FedEx 3171 D said via the Creed 3 arrival. Denver altimeter is 3019. We're going to fly at. Two three zero. fifty. That all looks good. Our route is going to be the Oakland 1. Oakland. SAC S I E R three S I E R three and we'll file. How do I mirror my iPad? Uh, with a program called Air Server. Air Server. Airserver.com. You can get a free trial, I believe. Alright. 
Ooh, I hope my air acts updated. I probably should check it, huh? 3.05J. Woohoo! FMC. Air rack updated. Yeehaw! Okay. Oh. Okay. Getting a little ahead of the game there. Procedures could not be loaded. Runway 11 not found at OAK, but it's necessary to build procedures. Missing runway should be reported to the scenery gateway. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? This could be bad. This could be bad. Alright. Southwest. 572. Do you guys ever have that error message before? I never have. Oh, that's so cool. On the PE Aware board, we got Southwest, Delta, Southwest, FedEx, GSA. GSA. Five Portland clearance, loud and clear. We have a radio check. Portland clearance, Delta 637, with weather, IFR to LA, please. Might as well spam the radio check emote. Alright. He just called for clearance. Delta 637, uh, Portland clearance, clear to Los Angeles International Airport, Cascade 2 departure, Jogan transition, that is filed. Uh, maintain 7000, departure frequency 118.42, squawk 4154. Delta 637 is clear to Los Angeles, Cascade 2 departure, Jogan transition as filed. Uh, maintain 7000. Departures on 118.42 and squawk 4154. Delta 637, read that correct. Okay, I'm going to verify my frequency 121.1. Oakland clearance, Southwest 572, IFR, Reno. Southwest 572, Oakland clearance. Good afternoon, clearance on request. Clearance on request. Global 4069, contact NorCal approach 121.3. Yeah, this is a uh, Cessna Rocks livery. He's here in the chat. This is the CHT. Cheese, ham, and Trisket. The CHTs are hot. It's not cylinder head temperature, Gavin. Hello, XC Pilot. How you doing, Adam? South of Star 72, clearance available. Advice ready to copy. Uh, one moment, please. Southwest 572. Where the heck? Oh. Ready to copy Southwest 572. Southwest 572, cleared to Reno Airport, Oakland 1 departure, radar vectors to Sacramento. None is filed. Maintain 15000. Departure frequency 135.1. Squawk 
Pasquawak, 1345. Cleared to Reno, Oakland 1 departure, radar vector Sacramento, then as file, maintain 15,000, 1, 5,000. Departure 135.1, squawk 1345, southwest 572. Southwest 572, read back correct. All right, lower pedestal for wait till dinner is done. <laughs> All right, let's set our squawk. Global 4069, or California, are you up? Sent transponder 1345. Global 4069, after you start by altitude and uh, information, India is current at San Francisco. Let me know when you've got okay. that. Expect a visual approach runway 28 left. If you have another Pressure approach panel. request, please like. We're going to 23,000. And our landing altitude in Reno is freaking high. Global 4069, right? Forty, uh, 44.15 was the landing altitude. Altimeter is set. Let's program the FMC. How do you play all this with live ATC? Is it TeamSpeak? Um, it's a custom uh, subscription service called Pilot Edge. So Commander K9, type in exclamation PE. An exclamation PE will get you a link. There's a two-week free trial as well. And you can start from the very basics. You can start in the small planes. Bubble 4069, Roger. Yeah, it's really easy. And they have guaranteed coverage during their business hours. And a lot of the airports in the uh, western United States and Midwest, well, at to parts of the, well, there's a big map on the, on the pilotedge.net website. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's do departures, Oakland. Uh, I'm gonna grab the Oakland ATIS. Portland ground delta six thirty seven gate delta five. Can push back onto kilo, please? We're doing information Romeo. We're departing runway two eight left and two eight right three zero and three three. Mm. Delta six thirty seven Portland ground push back approved on kilo. Expect runway two eight right for departure. Push back approved, we'll expect 28 right, Delta 637. We're gonna definitely depart, uh, I would guess 30. Yeah, 30. So. Alright, so let's go here, go 30. And then we're going to do the Oakland 1 departure. Execute. And then we're going to do departures in, or arrivals into Reno. We're going to do the Sierra 3. Actually, I take it back. Let's go to let's go to the let's go to the route page flight plan. Okay, it's, uh, okay. So the Oakland Oakland one is right there. Okay, now on the route. Where's the C oh, previous page? Okay, three zero direct. Hmm. It's not putting anything in for the Oakland one. And it's not s keeping it selected. That X thirty one seventy one contact Denver approach one two zero point three five. See how it's not keeping it selected? What's up with that? GSA and Southwest Special Deliveries. Nice. It's not. It's not keeping this, guys. Is that a bug or a feature? Yeah, keep uh, ground. 
FedEx 3171 Denver approach, Roger. Uh, actually, landing north of Denver right Skyhawk now. Um, the winds are slightly off. favoring the south runway, so uh, on your choice on the runway, let me know what you'd like. Parking. Request taxi, taxi for staying in the pattern. Thanks, 3171, Roger. Expect vectors, ILS runway 35 left, approach, uh, turn right, heading 110, vectors 2 final, just gotta maintain 8,000. Alright, we're gonna have to do this kind of manually then. I think it's broken. So much for rocking Juliet. Uh, procedures, departures. I, I don't know if this, this is, this could be something else. The Oakland one. Aircraft calling at Yakima, say again your request, you were blocked. Climb on heading 296, radar vectors to assigned route. Request taxi for staying in the pattern. I have information golf and I'm on the west ramp, November 172, Mike Charlie, Cessna Skyhawk. Okay, it's pretty simple. Does know it. Skyhawk uh, 172 Mike Charlie Yakima Ground Roger Runway Niner taxi via Alpha. Runway Niner taxi via Alpha. November 172 Mike Charlie. All right, let's just put in the SAC waypoint. So it goes. Portland Ground Delta 637 taxi. SAC. Sax Delta 637 oh, Portland Ground, oh, runway 28 right, Sorry. taxi via Kilo Victor Alpha. Sack. Kilo Victor Alpha 28 right, Delta 637. This is not good. He's going for distance, yeah. Yeah, this is not looking good. No, nah, I mean, it was pretty solid on 3.05 golf. Uh, golf. It was pretty solid. And this could be something else, but... Sack. Global 4069, contact NorCal on 135.65, 3565. There's Sack. That's weird. FedEx 3171, turn left, heading 080. Yeah, I could put, can't put in a direct two there. Well, this is going to be interesting. Reno, uh, we're going to do the Sierra uh, 3, and let's plan for... Global 4069, North Hill, Pritch, San Francisco Airport inside, and be coming up off your 11 o'clock position and 25 miles. One six left or right. We'll do one six right. FedEx 3171, turn left heading 010, intercept the runway 35, left to localizer. It keeps putting that in there. I try to take that up there, and it says no. Northwest 589, Oakland Center, Roger. Good afternoon. There we go. <laughs> uh, 
All right, we finally got it. All right, block fuel Static today. Thirty-one seventy-one, one zero miles from Diamond. Is, Making uh, eight thousand until established on localizer. Clear Dallas runway three five left approach. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna empty the center tank. We should have done this at the beginning. We're just gonna go. Uh, block fuel of ten five. So we'll go. Global forty sixty nine Roger. After Menlo cleared the visual approach runway two eight left. Ten nine's fine. Cruise is two three zero. Put OAK as the Yakima uh, Tower origin to reset it. Charlie okay. holding short runway zero nine or ready for departure. Uh, reserves so are six point two. Mike Charlie Yakima Tower runway nine are cleared for takeoff. Right closed traffic approved. Report midfield bound each time. Wind 100. one two zero at five. Right cross G wind. Rate. Flaps Report midfield five. each time cleared for takeoff. Uh, Four runway point nine eight air. on the trim. One seven two, Mike Charlie. Sorry, I missed a lot of chat there during that issue, but that's okay. We'll catch up with you now, so feel free to repeat anything that you want to. You have repeat permission on. All right, that's good. Um, I'm just going to look at, see, it says Sacramento and then Hoboa and then Vectors to Zompo. I just want to look and see if we look at the um, KRNO and we go procedures and we look at and fourth tower arrivals. Delta 637 is going to be ready at the end. Sierra 3. Ah, oh, it's pretty simple. Hoboa. Delta yep. 637, Portland Tower, wind 2805, front way to Basically, right, from takeoff. over the Sacramento VOR to so hold the right, Hoboa intersection, and then depart Hoboa 030. So there's the vectors, 030. Alright, thanks for your patience. Interesting to hear people's opinions, yes. For sure. um, where's the... Altitude adjustment. What do you mean, aviation? 2015. Okay, the FMC is programmed. We're cleared to 15,000. Set altitude 15,000. Thanks, Contact altitude Denver Tower 133.3. There's 15,000. And uh, we're going to trim is set. Let's go ahead and get our fuel pumps on. Fuel pumps coming on. Hydraulic pumps coming on. Denver Tower, FedEx 3171, establish on the localizer. ILS 35 left, FedEx 3171. I probably need to turn FedEx down. 3171, Denver Tower, wind 130 at Niner, Pilot runway 35 left, clear to land. Just a tad. 35 left, clear to land, FedEx 3171. FedEx 3171, correction to the wind. Uh, wind variable between 080 and 150 at Niner. With the weather, thank you. FedEx 3171. Global 4069, contact San Francisco okay. Tower 1. Hydraulics are five. on. Let's turn on the anti collision light on. Get ready for taxi. Let's do this pushback. Who's here that knows the better pushback plugin? Yakima Tower reporting midfield 172, Mike Charlie. November 172, Mike Charlie, runway 9er cleared for the option. Pre plan. Runway 9er cleared for the option. Alright, so what do I. How do I turn. Oh. Oh, wow. How do I zoom out? Like that? And then come over here? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. So, okay. Cisco Tower, Global 4069's uh, visual 28 left. That's. That's JT, three green Global 4069, San Francisco Tower, runway 28 left, cleared land, wind 040 at 6. Clear land, 28 left, Global 4069. Enter. Sorry, who else was calling the uh, center with my authorization? Call me through the menu when you are ready. <laughs> that is so cool. Call me when you're ready.
dude. I'm ready. What did it just tell me to do? Over departure and we'll turn that, that transponder around Delta 637. I think it said the truck's coming. Oh, it is going. <laughs> Seven Portland departure, radar contact, Friday right, nineteen one five. Set parking brake. Set parking brake. Oops. Release park brake. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Start and push back, and you may start engines. Okay. FedEx 3171, join Mike and uh, Mike to, to the uh, South Cargo area of this frequency. Have a good day. Back join Mike, off. South Cargo, this frequency. Actually, I'm going to enjoy this pushback. So we'll start after we... We'll start afterwards. Wow. Can one of my mods give uh, Keijo a, a permit when he asks for it to post his Oakland uh, scenery? Better be a good one or you're in trouble. Level 46 down exit left, uh, looks like you might make Delta there, uh, join Alpha to the ramp this frequency, take it. Alright, left on Del Delta, take Alpha to the ramp, 4069. I think you just posted Mr. X library. Level 4069, monitor ground, point eight. have a good day. Monitor ground, point eight. good day, 4069. Yakima Tower, November 172, Mike Charlie reporting midfield. November 2, Mike Charlie, runway 9 are cleared for the option. Runway Niner cleared for the option. One seven two, Mike Charlie. So, the guy at Yakima could clean Delta up his thirty seven climb and maintain level two three zero. He could clean up his midfield call by just saying, you know, November one seven two, Mike Charlie midfield. He doesn't have to say reporting midfield. So the reporting is that many Delta extra syllables. He could just say midfield. Three five point one five. Whoa! You spin me. Why is it doing this? This is like a balance relapse. What happened there, do you think? Yeah, this is a balance all over again. Belt 637, Seattle Center, Roger. Climb and maintain level 330. But seriously, what's it doing? Maybe this is that situation where I need nose wheel steering. It's getting faster. I know I posted it. I don't even know how it's doing it though. Download the latest fix? I did download the latest. Parking brake? Yep, 9399 uh, Denver Center, Roger, good afternoon. Lysergic, how you doing? Spell my name correctly. I 
just threw up. Call priest. <laughs> Glad I didn't know where the. F I don't know. What, I don't know what happened. Obviously, we need to do some testing. Why didn't it? Hazardous weather information. Plan your turns segment. bigger. Uh, we'll start with uh, 22 Western. That's for New Mexico and Arizona. Concerning an area of thunderstorm stops. Two level 450. Two one West, New Mexico and Arizona. Concerning an area of thunderstorm stops. Two level 440. Uh, two zero West, New Mexico and Arizona. <laughs> Uh, concerning an area of thunderstorm stops to level 340, 100 west for Colorado and New Mexico. Uh, that'll be concerning an area of thunderstorms. Uh, top stuff level 390, uh, to correction 84 central for Colorado and New Mexico. Concerning area of thunderstorms, top stuff level 390, 85 central, Texas, New Mexico. Area of thunderstorms, top level 440. 8-3 Central for Colorado and Wyoming concerning a line of thunderstorms stops level 430 and finally 8-0 Central Packs for Kansas, off. Nebraska and Colorado concerning an area of thunderstorms stops level 400. Further information is available from High Water Service. All are outbound until 20550. Tow is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Have a nice flight. Thank you. You too. Have a nice drive. Passengers are mad. Mad, yeah. Okay, there we go. Fuel added. Yeah, yeah, that one was okay to be clipped. It will be clipped. But uh, the fix is what I'm really interested in. All right, let's turn over one. <laughs> Let you off. Yeah. So that was a feature, actually. What was really scary, though, is the tug driver, th the tug driver thought he was going to be thrown into the San Francisco Bay. Who's in first class today? Mm. Yaki, my tower, November one seven two, Mike Charlie reporting, McField. All right, choose four people. Only four people. And you're in first, of course, as well. Choose four people to join you. Sky Cat, see my currently runway nine are clear for the option. But some said they get off they got off the plane. For the option. Like eight key wants Charlie. off. Uh Kajo uh says he he got dragged off. Um pa the passengers yeah, there's a few people that yeah. You know, Let's go packs back on. Or to auto. Let's do engine bleeds on. APU bleed can go off. I'm going to bypass that engine generator part. I don't think I need to do that. And I'm just going to go off. <gasps> Oops. Start the engine gens first, though, before you do that. Otherwise, you lose. We had standby power for battery. That's okay. All right. Uh, that was a bad mistake, but we'll bypass it and not think about it. Probe heat on. Any ice not required. Yaw damper on. Flaps. We'll go to flaps five. And uh, we'll go runway. Well, let's turn on auto brakes RTO. And then taxi lights can come on. Runway turnoff lights on. And let's set up our MCP flight director on. Flight director on. Set up our speeds. Set heading 296. Heading bug set to 296 degrees. That wow, all looks good. Start our taxi. It's not a bug. It's a non-document feature. <laughs> Just don't pick me to be your co-pilot. Last time you did, it was the Iron Man 1. <sighs> I did well on the Iron Man 1 recently.
Yeah, see, I have no noseable steering until I toggle it right here. Now I have it. Something with my joystick. I Chigo seven jab. Hello. Who did Jessica pick? All right, let's choose our Texas. All right, let's turn over to ground. Set COM1 121.75. COM1 set to 121.75. Set. Or our standby will be tower, which is 127.2. We're just here at the terminal. We're going to say who we are, where we are, and what we want to do in as few words as possible. So we'll probably get like a taxi via. We'll probably get. We either go to 29 or 30. I'm assuming 30, but it could be 29. And it could be. Um, Yakima Tower. It'll be interesting. Midfield, November 172, Mike Charlie. Yeah, you Mike Charlie, Roger, runway 9 are cleared for the option. Runway Niner cleared for the option. One seven two. I Charlie. think you taxi down runway two nine to get to three zero. Hmm. This will be interesting because I don't think the sceneries match. Hmm. Owners in the jump seat. That's right. Tip Lou ninety three ninety nine. Uh, new clearance to. Our correction, new routing to Denver, advise ready to copy. Uh, the C-130 gentleman is Blake. I think it was Blake C. I don't, I don't know if he's still here or not. He could be. Simply 93-99, clear to Denver Airport after the Wolf intersection. Join the Teller 2 arrival. Okay, Cessna Rocks is in first class. Stephen K. Jones is in first class. About to throw these three hundred dollar headphones in the trash. <laughs> Let's update the overlay now that we're thinking about it before we take off. Okay, everything should be updated. Passes out the Southwest Airlines branded champagne. <laughs> yep. All right, checklist. Oh, we got to get the ATIS. And I'm not going to refresh, and I think this will work on the ATIS page here. Oh, oh, hold on. Romeo. Oakland Ground, Southwest 572, terminal taxi with Romeo. Southwest 572, Oakland Ground, Runway 30, taxi via Uniform Whiskey. 30 via Uniform Whiskey, Southwest 572. 
the only problem is the Southwest cattle car wears first class. Yeah, I, I this is a special, uh, specially adapted Southwest aircraft. It's got uh, six seats only in first class. All right, so uniform whiskey. I don't see whiskey. Do you guys see whiskey on? I don't see whiskey on this chart. Yaki yeah, Tower, November 172, Mike Charlie, full stop, clear of runway, Niner at taxiway Alpha 3. I guess timer's going off. Hey, Blake C's there. There's this. There he is. There's always a first class, yeah. Exactly, Mike Charlie, join Alpha to the ramp this frequency. Take Jessica it. made you a VIP, Stephen. Thank her. Taxi via Alpha to the ramp. 172 Mike Charlie. It's Charlie's weird. On the FAA chart, I show a, a, a new runway here, runway 29. That's weird. That's weird. Who knows what's going on in Oakland? Kajo, what's going on? Is there a new. Is that 29 a new runway? Did they turn the taxiway into a runway? There's whiskey in the first class. Heck yeah, there is. And the lights go down in the city And the sun shines on the bay Ooh, I wanna be in my city Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't sing right now Nope Bots, the bots jacked up again. Don't quit your day job. You dang right, man. You dang right. All right, we're gonna hold short here, of runway three zero. I think two nine is new. I think it is. I think two nine is new. All right, let's switch over to the tower. One two seven point two. And uh, let's put in our departure frequency of 135.1. And uh, let's do, uh, let's set our engines to continuous. We'll go landing lights on, logo light on, wing light on, um, strobe and steady. Set auto throttle. It's really nice textures. Oakland Tower, Southwest 572, short 30. Southwest 572, Oakland Tower, runway 30, cleared for takeoff, wind 3008. Three zero cleared for takeoff southwest five seven two. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't seem like we have that takeoff config problem yet, so that's good. How does that look? How does that look? Cessna rocks. Hmm. All right. How many John Flat miles should we give Cessna rocks for this livery? All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go up to forty percent. Let's uh, hit the toke. Oh, it still is happening. Takeoff can. Oh, we're okay now. I don't know what's going on. Okay, positive rate. Gear up. Okay, V now. 
Hell no. We're just gonna fly runway heading. VNAV is off. That is really annoying. Vertical speed. That was a little bit of a situation there. Southwest 572, contact NorCal departure. Departure Southwest 572. NorCal departure Southwest 572, uh, 2800, climbing 15,000. Southwest 572, NorCal departure, radar contact. Yeah, it, yeah, I think it was out of trim. So that might be a Juliet problem. Southwest 572, turn right ending 050, climb and maintain possible 19 or 0. Okay, right heading 050, climb and maintain 19 or 0, Southwest 572. Okay, there's 050 up to 19,000. We'll do level change. We're not flying on LNAV or VNAV yet. Ten thousand, five thousand, a hundred thousand. All right, we'll give him JFM and Cessna Rocks seventy five hundred John Fly miles for Cessna Rocks for this beautiful livery. Yep, beautiful livery. Let's make sure we're on a zero five zero heading. Yep, okay. Gears up. It's clean. We got uh, 51 miles to the Sacramento VOR. I'm just going to quickly change my exterior sounds just to go because it's blasting in my headphones. You've always wanted to get paid in JFM. Thank you, Ichigo. I'm not very good, but I learn. I learn. Because I was dipping down there on that departure. It was, And then on the takeoff, it wanted to pop up quickly. So I'm not sure what happened there. Southwest 572, proceed direct to Sacramento VOR, resume on navigation. Direct Sacramento VOR, resume on nav, Southwest 572. All right, so we'll come down here and we'll go SAC. Southwest 572, contact Oakland Center 132.2. 132.2, Southwest 572. All right, let's go LNAV. We'll stay in level change mode for now. And we'll go direct. Mm. Direct to SAC. For some reason, I had to bring up the 3D pop up. That's fine. And then we'll change over to 132.2. Oakland Center, Southwest 572, 15,000 for 19,000. Uh, flight level Southwest 572, Oakland Center, Roger. Climb and maintain flight level 230. Climb and maintain flight level 230, Southwest 572. I should have said flight level 190, not 19,000. All right, 230 now on the altitude. So there's 230. The eyes of Texas are upon you. Hey, we got a good crowd in here. Is there like 140 something? 
142. That's awesome. Thanks for being here, everyone. Okay, so we're going standard pressure now because we're crossing our transition altitude. Standard, standard pressure on both sides. We'll also turn off uh, some lights. Had the taxi lights off before. Everything looks good. Let's look for our top of descent. So we're just top Northwest of descent in 63 West. miles. Let's clean up our uh, ND here. Bring the range down, get rid of some of this stuff, and there's our top of climb, there's our top of descent. Right? Fanka, who are you? Am I a real pilot? I am a real virtual pilot. Is this Delta? Mm, sure. <laughs> Moderator, who are you? <laughs> That's a good answer. Good question. Oh, hot 600. Someone's hot 600 him. I don't know why. Hot 600. I th Ooh, the hot 600 emotes almost spelled something right there. Um, so the question is... Is... Uh, how come Nightbot or Twitch itself is not censoring some of the colorful metaphors? Duke Nilch, how are you? Welcome, welcome to the channel. Let's get our ATIS information at Reno. Over here on the fourth flight, we'll go KRNO. We'll look at our weather. We got. Uh, Winds are 3 knots, visibility 10, statute miles, sky is clear, temperatures 89, altimeter 3011. There we go. Runways in use. Adult 186, San Francisco clearance, Roger. Clearance is on request, uh, standby. It's information, Papa. Information. Papa. Looks like approaches uh, to parallel runways are in effect. And uh, we can do a visual for 1 6 left. Should we do a visual or should we do a, uh, an ILS? We could do an ILS to runway 1 6 right. Maybe we should do an ILS just because this is the new version of the Zebo that we should test it. Hello, Papa. I don't know, Wed. I should probably learn Wed so I can create some of my own aircraft, but... Everyone relaxing Bexy. Yep, whatever Bexy means, we're, we're doing it. Real Xy Bexy. 
Someone's got the... The bubbles. That's what I should do. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Exclamation bubble. 186 clearance available, guys ready to copy. Exclamation bubble is gonna be a new sound. And I'll probably clear to San Diego Airport, offshore one departure, Mickey transition, direct Los Angeles VR, and then the comics one arrival, that's uh, Charlie, Oscar, Mike, India, X-Ray, one. Climb via the exclamation skid, bubble is going to be this sound. Squawk 6107. Should I make that exclamation bubble? I think I might have to do that. Should fly the ILS? Okay. Let's, uh, let's set up. Let's check our descent. From the Delta 180. 31 miles for the descent. Before flight, we're going to go procedure, approach, ILS. From the call sign, you're right back, American 186, uh, Delta 186, read back, what's correct? ILS 16 right. Ooh, there's two different Delta ILS 16 rights. Delta 186, also just for future reference, be advised, uh, you can file the uh, standard instrument departure and the arrival as part of the uh, flight plan uh, within the United States. It's perfectly acceptable to do that. Uh, we may change it, but uh, if you would like, you can file that as part of your flight plan reading. Let's set the nav to 110.9. Look at that, I'm actually using the knobs. Let's set up our course, uh, set course 164. And AB1 course set to one. We'll set the first officer side to 164. Alka-Seltzer bubbles, that's right. Fast running deer. <laughs> Sounds like a percolator. Sounds like gunfire. Let's uh, set up auto brake. We'll go for auto brake three. Our top of descent is coming up. Change our range. There's our top of descent in 22 miles. You know, it's kind of interesting. We're only going 352 knots because it wasn't following VNAV. And look, it's got 250 at 250 at Hoboa. Hmm. Oh, we're just flying, we flew slow out of there. Now we're up to 380. None of you guys said anything. You're supposed to. Where's my first officer and jump seat people? There's 410 knots. FO, FO needs whole view. Yeah, probably. Mile, nine miles from top of descent. I think we're gonna go into yeah. 
seven miles to top of the ascent. I think I'm going to change the font up there. I'm not too happy with it. Have you got the latest update, TMA? Not yet. I haven't either. Uh, that's why is it not starting for you? Um, are you at a high field? Hey, maybe you need the uh, ground power unit and the air pressure. I don't know. Packs are off. Do you have duct pressure? Yes, post away, computer flying. Should better be a good one. Then again, you're the boss, so everything you do is good. Jeff Blue 9399, descend to file discretion, maintain level 240. Mm, we're past our top of descent. AJ. And one of my mods, <laughs> check out that link that Computer Flying posted to make sure it's John Fly friendly. We're supposed to be at Hobo at 7,500, so we better get down. Uh, Oakland Center, Southwest 572, looking for lower. Southwest uh, 572, cross Hoboa at maintain 16,000. Reno altimeter 3011. Cross Hoboa at or above uh, 16 or at 16,000 Southwest 572. Okay, set our spree brakes. We got uh, 36 miles. Southwest 5561, San Francisco ground, runway 28 left. Taxi via Alpha, Foxtrot. All right. Short All runway right. 1 left. Quick math, 35 miles to descend. I gotta get down to 8, let's see. 7,000. Yeah, we should be fine. Maybe. Southwest 5561, actually, I'm sorry, correction to the taxi instructions. Runway 28 left, taxi via Alpha, Foxtrot 1. Fox trap, hold short of runway one left at Fox trap one. Engine limiter wasn't on. Oh, engine limiter wasn't on. What's the engine limiter? <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of unusual for a, a uh, for a Amazon Prime member to get a hot six billion. Normally the Amazon Prime members don't, contact don't get a hot six billion. Alright, 
so. We are. 37 Oakland Center, Roger. 26 miles from Hoboa. We're supposed to depart Hoboa 030 on the. Uh, on the heading. So I'll put that in as a manual heading, just in case. Yeah, no, I know. No, 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 no. Jessica, you were perfect. No, I know. We don't need to we don't need to talk about what he did because that's attention because he can still hear me. But no, you were 100% correct. It's sad. It's sad when they weren't hugged enough as a child. Not enough hugs as a child. All right. Uh, transition altitude. We'll go ahead and come out Delta of standard pressure. Roger. Have a good day. Come out of standard pressure, and let's just jump on some lights. Seatbelt sign is on. We got the course. We got the ILS set up for one six right. We may not get one six right, but. You only get hot 600 is for using caps on Josh channel. Holy snack lips. We're s we crossed 6,000 followers today and now we're at six, almost 6,200. There's quite a crew out today. Thank you for being here, everyone. I really appreciate it. Got to figure out what happened with that better pushback plug-in, though. All right, so how far away from Hoboit are we? 14 miles, we're fine. So we're going to level off here at 16,000. Uh, and we're going to go down to 250 knots. Set speed 250. Speed set to 250 knots. And then we're going to depart Hoboa at 030. Which is a part of the Sierra Three arrival. Stop when are we driving five, next? You cross runway one left and runway one right at Foxtrot One. Continue taxi. I think we should drive. I think we should drive tomorrow. What do you think? What's your schedule looking like? Cessna Nightmare AJ. I was thinking maybe a uh, fly in the morning drive in the afternoon. But then again, the British Open is kind of interfering with my schedule tomorrow. I don't know. So is my shirt. I did try it. I did, DP Vetter. It's very cool, but we had a we had a glitch. It's quite an interesting glitch. You stream some 757 at 1300 Central, but that can be moved. Okay. I like the uh, I like the I like the Nightmare Frame Twitch stream plug. I like it. I like it. Click on Nightmare Frame. Give him a follow. Give AJ a follow. A Jonesy. The pushback was doing the Texas two-step. It indeed was. All right, we're 250, 250 knots, and 160, and we're gonna turn hopefully 030 in four miles. Which we're our current heading is just zero three two, so we're going to make a two degree change. I think that's right. Yeah, two degree change. <laughs> that's funny. You did try the pushback thing. Pretty cool. Yeah good for people to stream. Yeah, I don't know why mine was like literally going like this. Same thing happened to to Bell and yesterday. We both have the same joystick, so it might Double be related. 72, contact NorCal approach 119.2. Over to NorCal 119.2, Southwest 572. And we have information
NorCal approach, Southwest 572, level 16,000 with Papa. Southwest 572, NorCal approach, Roger, expect a visual approach on my 16 right. Expect visual 16 right, Southwest 572. Not doing the ILS, we're doing the visual. But we can get cleared for the, the visual and still use the ILS as a reference. Just install plane command. My co-pilot does not understand me. Uh-oh. How, if you are an Amazon Prime user, would Except you be able to sell? Descend via the Teller 2 arrival, Denver Alpha Meters 3019. You have to associate your Twitch Prime account, your Amazon Prime account with your Twitch account, and you do that in your in your Twitch settings, in your Twitch settings under I think it's connections, and then you associate or is it connections or subscriptions, and then you well no no it's connect it's settings I don't know it's in there somewhere where you have to associate your uh, Amazon account and then you're allowed to subscribe to people for free, for free. But you have to do it manually every month. You have to resubscribe. Southwest 572, just set to maintain 1 1000. Set maintain 1 1000, Southwest 572. Yeah, I can't remember what page it's on. If I wasn't in, a, in a, an arrival, you know, in a uh, situation, I would look it up, but maybe someone can look it up where it is under your settings that you associate your Amazon account. All right, let's go full speed brakes here. And, uh, no, I'm not Von, Ra Von Recon. This is a Cessna Chuckson. <laughs> it's not really free. Well, it is free because you're are, you already paid for your Prime. But yeah, you're right. All right, let's get heading down to eleven thousand. Vertical speed's quite intense here, thirty-three hundred. San Francisco Tower runway 28 left, cleared for takeoff, wind 030 at 5. Okay, bedding is open. Southwest 572, advise Reno Airport inside, it'll be after 3 o'clock and 20 miles. Ah, airport in sight, Southwest 572. Southwest 572, Roger, base turn, your discretion, cleared to visual for runway 16 right. Base turn, my discretion, cleared visual 16 right, Southwest 572. W 9399, contact Denver, approach 120.35. Let's go into heading mode. Set heading 070. Heading bug set to 070 degrees. <sighs> that rendering plugin's getting in the way. Delta 186, San Francisco ground runway 1 left, taxi via Alpha Mike 1. speed down uh, maybe Jetblue 9399 Denver approach Roger expect uh, vector ILS runway 35 left approach oh, I hate that running plug in already Southwest 5561 contact NorCal departure Get that out of the way. 
Delta 186, verify transponder mode C, airport surface detection equipment in you. Delta 5561, North Cal departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, level 190. Okay, this is the intense part of the, the afternoon. Trying to get a good vector on the ILS. Jet Blue 9399 after Even though we're cleared, cleared ILS, visual. Left of I'm going to go ahead and do a 125 heading. That should be a Goldsy million dollar vector. Somebody was calling for a radio check, I believe, on Nortel be before. Sorry, I missed the uh, numbers. Uh, 7400. And there's our field. Landing lights are all on. We can go Southwest flaps 572, one. contact Reno Tower 118.7. 118.7, Southwest 572, good day. Okay, let's go into approach mode. Reno Tower 118.7. Reno Tower, Southwest 572, visual 16 right. Delta 572, Reno Tower, runway 16 right, clear to land, wind variable at 3. Clear to land, 16 right, southwest 572. Okay, let's bring our speed back. Our final approach speed is going to be 135. Let's go ahead and dial in 135 now. And let's go flaps 2, or flaps 1. Let's go uh, flaps Two, and scope gear down. We're on the slope. Again, we want speed 135. The bedding is now closed. Okay, let's go flaps 5. Flaps 10. Flaps 15. Arm spoilers. Spoilers arm. Coming down nicely down the mountain. And flaps 30. Okay, auto brake is set. Three green. We are cleared for landing. Oh, snack. 1,000 1, checks. Speed checks. good we will disengage AP at about two miles out we're five miles out now it's feeling pretty good I'm at flaps 30 flaps 40 so I'm gonna bring it back that was a, a minor adjustment. This is information Juliet Trixmot. Still on the ILS. We're 3.6 out. Looking good, looking good. Pappy's Vassy, Pappy happy. 500. 500 checks. Three miles out. Speed checks. Looks good. Batten down the beer. Get the kegs in session. My airplane. Turn off the auto throttle. Uh, it's a little high. That ILS, or that approach path. Is <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, max get braking. Get down, get down, get down. Reversers. Max reverse, max reverse. Max braking, deployed it. Deployed. Yeah, that, that was that was definitely hardcore. We That was two Gs. <laughs> My bad. 502. 
Flaps up. Flaps, Flaps zero. Going up. Flaps going up all the way. Yeah, that hurt. That was chiropractic. I was pretty excited Francisco about that tower, stable Delta approach. 186, holding short runway one left at Mike one. Yeah, I usually so I usually do pretty Francisco well with that plane. One left, clear for takeoff, wind zero three zero at five. Clear takeoff, one left, Delta one eighty six. Southwest five seventy two, taxi to the ramp via Juliet and Alpha, monitor ground point nine or take care. To the ramp, Juliet Alpha, monitor ground, take care. Southwest five seventy two. Plus 5561, contact Oakland Center 127.45. Let's monitor ground 121.9er. And let's uh, clean up. Southwest 5561, Oakland Center, maintain level 270. Logo light can stay on, strobe and steady, any collision wing light can come off. You w waited too late to disengage? Yeah, that's probably right. Tires blow. I don't know if we'd t blow tires at 500 feet per minute, would we? Maybe. Probably. <laughs> okay, Juliet Alpha, monitor ground. Look at that, there's a southwest gate right there. Yeah, it's funny how your your entire flight literally can be judged by seven seconds. <laughs> your entire flight is judged by seven seconds. And yes, that was not a good report card. <laughs> Oh, these, we're blinding these guys. <laughs> the passengers are... I'm feeling it, actually. That was hard. I usually do better in the Zebo. Maybe I can blame it on 3.05 Juliet. Do you guys want to watch a replay? Okay, we got a park... Delta 186, contact nope. NorCal departure. Right Departure Delta 186. All right, so the bet is above option five. One viewer won, eleven lost. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad. That was a bad landing. I usually do, like I say. Well, no excuses. Of course, autopsy time. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's just brief the uh, what we did. So we took off. 186 NorCal departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, follow 190. We took off from Oakland. And we kind of had an interesting situation where the trim, and I, I think this may be related to the Zebo mod, is that on takeoff, the plane really wanted to, to lift off early. And then, about right here, just past uh, Bay Farm, somewhere in here, the plane started kind of leveling out, and it wasn't climbing. So the next time that we do the Oakland one departure, we're gonna probably set, we're gonna we're gonna ignore VNAV, and we're just gonna do a, um, like an IAS climb, uh, out of there, an IAS climb, and then, um, and then and then make that turn, uh, after we get radar vectors to Sac Sacramento, so then we turned up here. He gave us a a, a heading of, of what was it zero, I think it was zero. Five zero, I think, and then after that we then hit the, uh, and then we got di cleared direct Sacramento VOR right up here, and then over here we got cleared for um, the visual approach. What was really cool is that he said base turn my contact Denver Tower one three three base turn my discretion, and so I was really that was really cool because then I could set up for the ILS. So it was a pretty stable approach coming in, but it was just a shoddy landing. Can I say shoddy? So we'll go plug-ins, pilot edge, disconnect. Disconnected. But not every landing's going to be roses and, or, you know, roses and pickles. Okay. Uh, ooh. 
That's kind of a cool shot. Screen grab. I wonder what airport that is over there. It's a big one, whatever it is. Completed the Oakland GA ramp. Nice. You've, your viewers had faith in in you to land under 299, except for one. And for, unfortunately, I was the only winner. <laughs> well, landing at 305 in a Zebo is not all that bad, actually. Roses and tire irons, yeah. Can you do Munich to Seuss? Where's Seuss, Furbo? You have the same micro stative. What's the micro stative? I don't know what a micro stative is. Tunisia. Ah, Tunisia. Three the air the aircraft in Tunisia all have three Victor on their tail numbers. Three Victor on their tail numbers. Am I right? Am I right? Sad that I've memorized all the tail numbers in, on the planet. Never heard of micro state of either. Yeah. For the love of flying, you, yeah, PC or a Mac. Yeah, I I usually do a lot better on my landings. Golf course. Golf course. Nice lighting, nice time of day to land. I probably should do some night flying here in the near future. Because I, I haven't done hardly any. If Have I done any night flying? I've looked how it looked, things looked at night, but I haven't really done any flights at night. I really should. Look, look how that light, landing lights lighten up the ground below. That is crazy. So this is where TMA, TMA pilot was suggesting I should have disconnected a little sooner because I was left a little high and I had to kind of see that's where I kind of had to take over and kind of dig down uh culminator um to sum up my channel uh hard landings like that <laughs> oh we have a good time we basically right now we're streaming I would say about 75 percent um, X-Plane um, and then the rest of the 25% is um, American Truck Sim Euro, uh, soon to be Euro Truck Sim and then we just are getting into iRacing so mostly flight simulation I'd say the word that sums it up is what's the phrase that sums up this channel everyone what is the phrase let's do a uh, runway view There's a runway view. Yeah, with you will work also. <laughs> oh, wow. Great job on this livery. I was a little off the center line. Look how hard I hit. Boom! Wing flex. That was a. That was probably my hardest landing in, in the last. I don't know, six weeks. Maybe not. Tower was watching and laughing. It was a good flight, except for that last three seconds, seven seconds, because this was really hard. Oh yeah. If it was in the middle of a storm, I'd be okay with that. But all right, last one.
On the plus side, there's no doubt that you landed. That's for dang sure. Okay, I want to just take a... Uh, I'm going to open up a bet for everyone. This will be an interesting bet. I did get off early. <laughs> 